I've wanted to learn how to program for years, but there have been a lot of things that have stopped me from doing it. Now, yes, it's true that I have a background in network administration and I'm good with Active Directory and I'm an excellent troubleshooter and I know a lot about technology and cloud apps, but er, I got upon the brakes when it comes to actual like development, hands-on coding. I want to tell you why and also where I'm at today, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I just got back from the second session of the Ruby on Rails study group that I'm now going to. I'm really liking it because it's in person with a group of people who all want to learn. And, you know, we're setting up a, a curriculum and a series of objectives that we're going to reach. And, you know, we're defining our toolkits. Like, I'm like, yes, I'm already using TextMate. Awesome. Anyway, um, let's go back a couple years. Now, I knew that there are people who did programming. Great. But, you know, those people who were my friends didn't really look like they had such a great lifestyle. They were always complaining about their bosses. They worked long hours, well into the evening. They didn't feel appreciated. They had deadlines they felt they couldn't meet, uh, user requests, feature requests. I mean, you know, it just didn't seem like a great life. And yes, I did date a guy as well who's also a developer. So I just thought, you know, this isn't for me. If I have programming skills, my God, I'm just going to be consumed with, like, more drama in the workplace. I already had enough of that from being a network admin. So I kind of backed off. Now, you know, if you throw me into some PHP or, you know, I have to kind of make some changes, you know, to some HTML code, yes, I can do that. But it's not where my passion's at. Last year, I did the Ruby on Rails uh, outreach workshop for women that was held at the Pivotal Labs offices over on Market Street. We used Heroku. Uh, we went ahead and, you know, got our environment set up. Um, we, you know, uh, installed basically this predefined application. But after that, it was like, now what? You know, so things kind of fell to the wayside. Uh, my friend, Mary Tolbert, who's out in Boston, uh, she was really excited uh, last January, you know, to hear that I was going to you know, start learning Ruby on Rails. And I was pretty hyped up. And I said, yeah, once I move to San Francisco, it's going to be gravy from there. But, you know, life can kind of, you know, take up a lot of time. No, just kidding. Because you'll know, I'll be the first one to say, if you want something bad enough, you'll make time for it. So, um, But I really like what I'm doing now in a group setting. I think there's accountability, there's collaboration, and I, so I feel like I have this network I can reach out to um, and things like that. Um, I think another thing that has really changed for me that makes me want to, like, given my my all now is I've met all these STEM women. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. And so it's just really very different being out here in San Francisco and seeing like women just like me, you know, not only running companies, but seriously knowing hardcore like programming stuff. And I'm like, me too. I want to be there. So uh, it's also much more supportive. Now, I'm not saying that it's a guy thing to not be supportive, you know, Although maybe it's a geek thing, right? I was just talking about this, um, that geeks can often just be awkward, have trouble expressing their feelings and tensions, <laughs> all those sort of things that make us geeks, right? But I also have friends who are geeks who are fine with telling jokes, playing music, you know, like the guitar, like, and they're very personable people. So I know that it's not just about being geek. Um, anyway, so I'm really excited about this, and it's been something I've wanted to do for years, and I just would put my toe in, and then be like, oh, the water's too cold, but now I'm, I'm really ready to dive in, and so I just wanted to share that with you guys. If there's someone out there, I know I've received emails from women before, and guys asking, you know, how can I get started in uh, a, a career in IT? How can I get started in a career doing programming or development or should I move to San Francisco? I get a lot of emails about moving to San Francisco. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you, you know, because I think for me, it's going to be a really uh, pivotal and ha ha joke there. Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, not kidding. No, kidding. Um, <laughs> a point in my life, and I'm really looking forward to it um, because I found out even today like, we were talking about um, Ruby and then Ruby on Rails, and I just realized how, how much terminology I already understood. We were talking about um, SVN versus CVS, and, you know, I, I'm very familiar like, with what a repository is and what it's used for and who sets them up and how you can have mirrors, because a lot of those things overlap either in IT, you know, for me, or 
jailbreaking iPhones or whatever it is, just in my general technology interest, I've learned a lot of these. So I'm like, you know, in a way I feel like I have a really good foundation. So that's it for now. Um, I'll be doing weekly videos uh, after I finish out the sessions uh, for the study group and share kind of what we're working on. So make sure to check out that other video as well. And as always, embrace your inner nerd. I'll see you next time. Bye.